parents, faculty and staff, ladies and gentlemen, members of the class of 2021. Welcome to the Tropaya exercises of the class of 2021. Tropaya is the ancient Greek word for monuments raised in honor of victories in war or in athletic contests. The ancient Greeks believed that brave effort and noble victory, whether on the battlefield or in the athletic stadium, were a thing of beauty that deserves to be admired and remembered. Georgetown, too, honors the courageous academic struggles and honorable success of its students. Today, we are here before you in the beautiful GUQ library to acknowledge the students whose efforts have earned them outstanding achievements. I should add, though, the library looks much better with you in it. On behalf of the Georgetown community, I would like to start by saying to our students, congratulations. You have persevered through the sleepless nights, the Zoom fatigue, the isolation, and the anxiety. You have fought through tough times and honed the excellent character, diligence, and resilience that will make you continue to excel throughout your life. I also want to congratulate your families and mentors whose unwavering support has put you on the path to success. This is certainly a big week for you and your families to enjoy and cherish. And it is a big week for, a big week for all of us. As with all defining moments in life, moments of transition like this one are somewhat suspended between past and future. If you look at the past 40 years, you will remember the lengthy and often challenging pathway that has led to this achievement. And if you look forward, there is excitement about new beginnings and the bright future that lies ahead. But also some disquiet of the unknown in a world struggling to triumph over a global pandemic. You are graduating at a remarkable time in history, a challenging time of upheaval and transformation. Yet I trust that with the Georgetown education, you will not sit on the sidelines. You've been educated to navigate the labyrinth of history and politics, law and economy, and philosophy, faith, and culture. You've studied under passionate professors who challenged you to think critically and to test your convictions through real life engagement. And in all the classes you've taken, every bit of knowledge you acquired is interwoven with Georgetown's over 230 year legacy, a legacy of serving others, striving for academic excellence, fostering diverse community, and an unwavering commitment to work for the common good. Of course, there is no greater example of the fine human qualities distinctive to Hoyas than our fallen comrade, the gentle, kind, and generous Lai Hamad. Sophia is a moment to victory, and we confer tonight's highest honor upon the triumphant spirit of our beloved son and brother, who bravely faced what was placed in his life's path and made a lasting impression on all the lives that he touched along the way. Let us learn from his example and live our lives with the same dignity, bravery, grace, humor, faith and generosity as was shown to us by Lu'ai Hamad. May Allah be pleased with him. Please take a moment of silence to remember this beloved member of the class of 2021. From Lu'ai, we learned very well that life is not promised to us and it is filled with much uncertainty. But what I want you to take away is that life is packed full of opportunities to serve, to learn, to grow, and to become your best self. Georgetown gave you all the building blocks on how to live a life for others, how to be lifelong learners, how to acquire over and again skills and knowledge that will enable you to care for yourselves, your families and friends, and your societies and fellow human beings. 
We are proud of you. We love you. And we will miss you very much. After you graduate, please visit us and continue to share with us your stories and your experiences as your careers and family life takes flight. We look to you to inspire us, to show us how you take all that you have experienced and learned and shape it to imagine better and brighter futures for us all. Congratulations, Boyas. Before we commence with the bestowal of awards, however, I would like to invite Abdullah Al-Malki, class of 2021, to begin this evening with the recitation from the Quran. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا عنك وزرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فارغب Thank you عبد الله And now to the awards I ask Tukaya Abu Sharaf, Professor of Anthropology, to come forward to present the Special Recognition Certificate. We begin by recognizing the students who have earned the certificate in a secondary concentration in the School of Foreign Service. These certificates complement the students' major fields of study allowing them to focus their intellectual inquiry in more depth in particular areas. The following students have earned the certificate in Arab and regional studies. Dana Darwish, Adiba Diab, Abida Diab, sorry, Faiza Shahad. The following students have earned the certificate in media and politics. Sarah Abdul Salam, Fatima Al Imadi, Fatima Al Naimi, Himar Al Shorn, Hussein Al Khishin, Hansa Maria, Irene Promo. The following students have earned independent certificates. Talal Abdul Nasir completed an independent certificate in finance. Fiza Shahad completed an independent certificate in gender and politics. Congratulations to all of you. I now invite Jeremy Coons, Associate Professor of Philosophy, to present the next honorees. We now recognize the students who have been admitted into academic honor societies. Governed by boards of accomplished scholars and employing rigorous standards for admission to their ranks, honor societies recognize excellence and achievement in many academic disciplines on a national and international level. The following students have been inducted into Omicron Delta Epsilon, the National Economics Honor Society. Talal Abdul Nasir, Nur Al Debasti, Fatima Al Mahdi, Fatima Al Ismail, Muhammad Al Midfa, Rabia Al Mula, Mustafa Axman, Fatima Farouki, Tala Kamar, Nak Nguyen, Adam Polako, Abdul Rahman Kayum, Mona Saif, Mudassa Raza Shakir, Natasha Vincent. The following students have been inducted into Pi Sigma Alpha, the National Political Science Honor Society. Fatma Ali Mahdi, Fatma Al Naimi, Lin Al Rabat, Asim Al Thani, Shaima Bin Kermi, Nurhan El Nahla, Fatma Farouki, Sara Liditost, Irene Pomod. Mona Saif, Fiza Shahzad, Amna Salat, Natasha Vincent. The following students have been inducted into Phi Alpha Theta, 
the National History Honor Society, Haya Abdurrahman, Shama Al Hitni, Munira Al Qubaisi, Abdullah Al Malki, Rada Al Muhannadi, Satma Al Naimi, Tamara Korn, Abida Diab, Satma Saruki, Sara Liditosk, Khansa Maria, Masha'al Muftah, Harleen Asahan, Mona Saif, Fiza Shahzad, Mudassa Raza Shakir. Each year, outstanding students from Jesuit universities around the world are admitted to the Jesuit Honor Society Alpha Sigma Nu. Students are selected for membership based on their academic achievement and a demonstrated spirit of generous service. The following students have been inducted into Alpha Sigma Nu. Saud Al Ahmad, Fatma Ali Mahdi, Fatma Al Naimi, Shaima Ben Kedmi, Sara Liditost, Khansa Maria, Irene Promod, Mona Saif, Natasha Vincent. The oldest and most prestigious honor society in America is Phi Beta Kappa. Founded in 1776, Phi Beta Kappa is dedicated to the principle of liberty and the free and unrestricted pursuit of academic inquiry. Fewer than 1% of graduates from American universities are invited to membership each year. The following students have been inducted into Phi Beta Kappa. Fatima Al Naimi, Su Jung Ham, Nyok Nguyen, Irene Pramod, Aditi Sanjay, Natasha Vincent. Like other universities around the world, Georgetown places a Latin phrase on the diplomas of students who have earned high grades throughout their undergraduate careers. This special honor is awarded in three ranks. They are, in ascending order, cum laude, with praise, magna cum laude, with great praise, and summa cum laude, with highest praise. The following students have earned the distinction cum laude. Hind al Salaiti, Mustafa Aksmed, Amna Salat, Fiza Shahzad. The following students have earned the distinction magna cum laude. Fatim al Imadi, Min al Rabat, Shaima bin Kermi, Nurhan al Nahla, Fatma Farouki, Sara Liditost, Hansa Maria, Mona Saif. The following students have earned the distinction summa cum laude Saud al Ahmad, Fatima al Naimi, Su Jung Ham, Nyok Nguyen, Irene Promod, Aditi Sanjay, Natasha Vincent. I now invite Professor Abu Sharaf back to the lectern to present the next honorees. Every year, students distinguish themselves in the major by completing a thesis. For their efforts, these students are awarded honors in their chosen major, and this fact is noted on their academic transcript. If a thesis is judged to be of exceptional quality, then the faculty considers, considers it important to recognize this further distinction at Tropaya. The following students aired honors in culture and politics. Saud Al Ahmad for his thesis, Gil Al Tayyibin, Reimagining Narratives of Identity and Heritage in Qatar. His faculty mentor was Amira Sumbul. Hansa Maria for her thesis, Revisioning Identities, Tracing Disability in Pakistan and India through the lens of the novel. Her faculty mentor was Ian Almond. 
Mashail al Mustah for her thesis, The Paradox of Qatari Females Education. Her faculty member, mentor was Amira Zain. Nuk Nguyen for her thesis from slavery to kafala, British colonialism and labor governance in the Persian Gulf. Her faculty mentor was Ian Almond. The following students earned honors in the international history major. Sarah Abdesalam for her thesis, A History of National Front for the Salvation of Libya, 1981 to 2012. Her, fa her faculty mentor was Karin Walter. Sarah's thesis is recognized by the faculty for its distinction. Abid Diab for her thesis, a social history of the Qatari nutrition transition. Her faculty mentor was Amira Sombol. Fiza Shahad for her thesis, Women in the Hoja Muslim Community, Disinheritance, Agency, and the Colonial Legal System. Her faculty mentor was Reza Pirbai. The following students earned honors in the international politics major. Fatma al Imadi for her thesis, The Water Crisis in the Middle East, Exploring the Relationship Between Water Insecurity and Political Instability. Her faculty mentor was Gerd Nonaman. Fatima's thesis is recognized by the faculty for its distinction. Fatima Nuaimi for her thesis, Anti-Immigration and the Far Right, examining the effects of far-right parties anti-immigration ideologies on immigration legislation in Great Britain. Her faculty mentor was Sonia Alonso. Fatima thesis is recognized by the faculty for its distinction. Fatima Farouqi and Sarah Lidutov for their thesis, the impact of diversity on gender bias in student evaluations of teaching. Their faculty mentors were Sonia Alonso and Karine Walter. Fatima's and Sarah's thesis is recognized by the faculty for its distinction. Malak Almo for her thesis, The Question of Belonging Naturalized East Africans in the Washington metropolitan area. Her faculty mentor was Amanda Garrett. Irene Promod for her thesis, The Politics of Transnational Religiosity and, if, and Ethnography of South Indian Christians in Qatar. Her faculty mentor was Uday Chandra. Irene's thesis is recognized by the faculty for its distinction. Muna Seif for her thesis, Iran under American economic sanctions, a study from 2010 to 2020. Her faculty mentor was Mahran Kamrava. Muna's thesis is recognized by the faculty for its distinction. Natasha Vincent for her thesis, Small States and National Civil Aviation from State Building to International Branding. Her faculty mentor was Mahran Kamrava. I now invite Edward Kola, Associate Professor of History, to present the next honorees. It is my pleasure to present the faculty awards which recognize outstanding students in each of the certificates and majors, as well as overall scholarly achievement. The Katrina Hirohiko Award for Excellence in Culture and Politics is presented to the graduating senior who majored in CULP and who has demonstrated excellent performance through written work, cumulative grade point average, leadership and other markers of academic success in CULP related coursework or activities. The recipient is Hansa Maria. Hansa's continuous dedication and curiosity inside of the classroom was matched by her commitment to extracurricular activities, ranging from the debating society to a mall outside of the classroom. Faculty, staff, and students alike have been enriched by her inspirational presence on campus and her continued dynamism. Congratulations, Hansa.
The International Economics Outstanding Student Award is presented to a graduating senior who majored in IECO and who has demonstrated excellent performance through written work, cumulative grade point average, leadership, and other markers of academic success in IECO-related coursework or activities. With this student's personality, good sense of humor, and willingness to adapt various views and opinions, it was always a pleasure having him in classes at GUQ. He was one of those rare individuals who always placed a priority on understanding and learning about the topic. His enthusiasm for academic knowledge is admirable, and he always took the time and effort not only to learn the facts, but also research and reason behind the facts. What is most impressive, however, is that his motivation for learning is neither selfish nor self-serving. He has a genuine concern for others and will use his knowledge in the future to make a difference for those in need. The recipient is Mustafa Ahmed. Congratulations, Mustafa. The International History Outstanding Student Award is presented to a graduating senior who majored in IHIS and who has demonstrated excellent performance through written work, cumulative grade point average, leadership, and other markers of academic success in IHIS-related coursework and activities. The recipient is Fiza Shahzad. With certificate and honors theses that enrich the field of South Asian history and four years of diligent, thoughtful, and enthusiastic participation, both in and out of the classroom, Fiza's presence has consistently enriched our campus and left no doubt in the minds of so many faculty, staff, and students that she will achieve no less in her new home at graduate school. Congratulations, Fiza. The International Politics Outstanding Student Award is presented to a graduating senior who majored in IPOL and who has demonstrated excellent performance through written work, cumulative grade point average, leadership, and other markers of academic success in IPOL-related coursework or activities. The recipient is Aditi Sanjay. Aditi was invariably thoroughly prepared for class discussions and brought to them a sophisticated, well-read understanding, as well as a set of pertinent questions that linked the course readings with evidence from the outside world and insights from other classes. She would produce the most lucid and widely researched presentations, keeping her audience's attention, and her written work throughout was of the highest caliber in all registers, from structure, articulate expression, and breadth of research to critical analysis and elements of originality. It was always a pleasure to read. Congratulations, Aditi. The Certificate in Arab and Regional Studies Award honors the graduating senior who, in the judgment of GUQ faculty members, has written an outstanding thesis. This student sets out to ask important theoretical questions, such as, can the concept of civil society be universally applied? Her CARS thesis stands out for both questioning the viability of normative approaches and presenting alternative ways of looking at the subject. The recipient is Abida Diab. Congratulations, Abida. The Certificate in Media and Politics Award honors the graduating senior who, in the judgment of GUQ faculty members, has produced an outstanding thesis or e-portfolio. The recipient is Irene Promo. Irene's paper, which has been published in the Journal of Ethnic and Migration Studies, traces the sonic waves and networks that bind together Gulf migrants from Kerala, India, as they move between two homes across the Indian Ocean. This is a landmark study in the vernacular politics of the region's myriad migrant communities. Congratulations, Irene. The Abu Hamid Al-Ghazali Faculty Award honors the student who is among the top five students in terms of academic average, has international exposure, and has demonstrated leadership outside the classroom. The recipient is Natasha Vincent. Congratulations, Natasha. I am pleased to invite Dean Dalal back to the lectern to present the Dean's Medal. Dean Dalal. Thank you, Dr. Kola. Congratulations to all of our National Honor Society, Honors and the Majors, and Faculty Award recipients. The Dean's Medal is given to the graduating senior who earns the highest scholastic average during his or her undergraduate study at Georgetown University in Qatar. This year's recipient was outstanding in her consistent advanced planning and timely delivery. Her work was often delivered weeks ahead of time. During the challenges of teaching and learning under COVID-19, 
restrictions this past year. She sustained the high performing and positive presence throughout the pandemic. This was exemplified by her voluntary participation in the Georgian Summer Research Competition on the theme of COVID-19. Her superb research paper on the return of Swadeshi spirit, COVID-19, and the nationalist vision of a self-reliant India displays all the strength of her coursework while, while adding extensive original research and an original argument. Her work was clearly at the level of a graduate student with high marks. It's no wonder that graduate schools around the world <clears throat> are already beating a path to her door. The, the winner of the 2021 Dean's Medal is none other than Adithi Sanjay. Congratulations, Adithi. I'm pleased now to invite Anna Salah and Fiza Shahzad, class of 2021, to present the honor to you few community members. Thank you, Dean Dadlal. The recipient of the Staff of the Year Award is well known for having an office filled with students all year round. This is partly because his office is filled with the most exciting decorations as well as a live fish tank, but mostly because regardless of his position within Georgetown, he is a friend to his students. He is always willing to listen attentively to our issues and complaints, our bursts of anger and annoyance, as well as our exciting and very dramatic news. His lighthearted French humor and wit make him a source of happiness within our Georgetown community. And I am delighted and incredibly proud to present this year's Staff of the Year Award to none other than Dean Julian Moot. The next award is the Faculty of the Year Award. The recipient of this year's award is someone who is incredibly dedicated to her students we particularly appreciate how patient she is, even when we bother her with our obvious comments and incessant questions. Additionally, she is potentially the most eloquent speaker you will ever have the privilege of listening to. Outside of class, students have always been able to communicate with her regard, regarding all kinds of issues. Her willingness to listen to their problems, no matter how small they may be, makes her a valuable member of the Georgetown community. I'm incredibly honored and privileged to announce that this year's Faculty of the Year Award goes to Professor Sohera Siddiqui. I now invite Brendan Hill, Senior Associate Dean for Students to present the Student Development Awards. The Office of Student Development recognizes the accomplishments of Georgetown students with our annual senior awards. While we are proud of all of our students, uh, we would like to uh, and recognize your individual achievements. We wish to recognize a few exceptional contributions to our community through the following awards. The Ambassador Award is presented to the senior who has had the most notable engagement with the wider community outside of GUQ during their time as a student. This year's recipient has represented Georgetown proudly in various Cutter Foundation initi initiatives, such as IMQF. For several years, she represented Georgetown during Charity Week, volunteered for admissions workshops, and discovered Georgetown, and generally made us proud to call her a Hoya. This year's recipient is Shaima Ben Kermi. The Georgetown Leadership Award is presented to the senior who has demonstrated excellent leadership in the co curricular life of GUQ. This student fearlessly co-led our first online new student orientation, came back to serve as vice president of the Student Government Association after having already served as its president, and was president of the Georgetown Women's Society. Malak Elmo is a natural and thoughtful leader, and it is with great pride that we present her with this award. The Georgetown Engagement Award is presented to the senior who has taken full advantage of the co-curricular life at GUQ through a variety of activities. We selected two recipients from the class of 2021 in no specific order. And I must say, I don't know when either of these recipients sleeps. Our first awardee fully engaged as NSO coordinator and the secretary general of our Model United Nations Conference. She completed the Georgetown leadership track and headed the honor council. In between, 
She participated in the community engagement and zones of conflict, zones of peace programs. The second recipient also has also taken leadership roles with Model United Nations, headed multiple student clubs, won debate championships, and completed the GUQ leadership track. She participated in the CEP trip to Greece and was selected for the zones trip to Tanzania and Oman, which was unfortunately canceled due to the pandemic. In addition, she represented Georgetown at IMQS and has won numerous awards. This dynamic duo is none other than Fiza Shazad and Kansa Maria. We congratulate both of you on your achievements. The Community and Diversity Award is presented to the senior who best exemplifies the Jesuit value of community and diversity by strengthening the fabric of student life at Georgetown University in Qatar. This graduate readily volunteers for and engages with important initiatives, such as the annual undergraduate research conference and the honor council. She has implemented significant change to the Hoya empowerment and learning program, which she has led since 2018 and has diversified its curriculum as well as connected the program with international and local organizations. We present this award to Irene Permot. The blue and gray award is presented to the senior who most embodies Georgetown's core values and ethos. This year, we dedicate this award to the memory of your classmate, Loy Hamad, who embodied these values. Again, we could not decide on one recipient, so we chose two. The first student is easily recognized by his peers. He is always ready to help and looks out for his friends and future students. He has served as an invaluable member of the Georgetown Ambassador Society and as an orientation advisor to new students. He's involved with several clubs and important initiatives has staffed our model United Nations and worked as a peer tutor. We recognize Saud Al Ahmed for his genuine care of Georgetown and for upholding its values. The second recipient of the Blue and Gray Award has represented Georgetown's ethos both, both in Qatar and on our campus in Washington, DC. She has been a true ambassador of Georgetown at various UN initiatives and as a valuable member of the Georgetown Ambassador Society. Thank you, Amna Salat, for always saying yes when called on to serve your community and for being such a wonderful representative of Georgetown University. The Georgetown Leadership Track encourages students to participate in various Georgetown and community activities that help them develop their leadership competencies through experiential learning, engagement, and reflection. We are proud to recognize the 2021 Georgetown Leadership Track recipients. Fiza Shazad, gold level. Shaima Ben Kermi, bronze level. Hansa Maria, bronze level. Mudasser Raza Shakir, bronze level. Natasha Vincent, bronze level. Kaimara Chon, copper level. Fatima Faruqi, copper level. Sarah Lightoff, copper level. Irene Pomot, copper level. Mona Saif, copper level. Congratulations to all of you. It is now time for us to hear from our senior speaker, Adam Palaco. Good evening, deans, faculty members, friends, family, and of course, my fellow graduates of the class of 2021. My name is Adam Polacco, and unfortunately, you'll be hearing me speak for the next couple of minutes. In all honesty, it is my honor today to deliver the commencement address for this remarkable class. To those of you that are present, this is not your economics class. I really hope that you did not leave me on mute. Come on, we've all done it. All jokes aside, on behalf of my batch, I genuinely would like to thank all of you for attending the ceremony with us. In case you have not been reminded by almost every single email sent out this past year, the circumstances have truly been unforeseen and the times have been unprecedented. It has by no means been easy. It really is so unfortunate that we were not able to gather in person and I know that we all had hopes to graduate in front of our friends and family. Although maybe there is a silver lining, at least in this way, it is guaranteed that none of us will embarrass ourselves by falling on stage. But I am thankful that our efforts and accomplishments will still be recognized and that now we are able to celebrate this achievement with our friends and family from all around the world. I'm sitting here in front of you all and hopefully I look somewhat put together but I promise you all I am not. I am experiencing a whirlwind of emotions. 
There are feelings of excitement as I am ready to reach new heights and pursue new endeavors, whatever those might be. However, there is an overpowering feeling of sadness. Georgetown has been a constant in my life for the past four years. I've experienced so much since the time I entered as a naive 18 year old boy, as I'm sure most of you have as well. One thing that is for certain is that I'm thankful for my university experience at GUQ. I have been fortunate enough to have made some of the most beautiful memories, to have taken some of the most fascinating classes, to have been exposed to an abundance of new experiences and to have made some lifelong friends. It has not been an easy journey, but I am proud of the person that I have become and of everything that I have managed to accomplish. And each and every one of you should be too. We have all had to endure a lot, especially this past year, but we were able to persevere through it all. Before I address my graduating batch, there are some people that I would like to recognize. On behalf of all of us, I would first of all like to thank the administration, staff members, service providers, and security guards for helping each and every one of us in some way, shape, or form. I would also like to thank the faculty who have been committed to the success of each and every one of us and continue to take an interest in our development as individuals. Thank you for your patience and for creating an environment where we aren't only allowed to succeed, but also to fail. Although your exams and assignments have contributed to multiple of our mental breakdowns and hospital visits, it truly has been a privilege to have been taught by all of you. To the rest of the students at Georgetown that have significantly contributed to our time here at university, you all have some big shoes to fill. But honestly, thank you for making it such a memorable experience and we are going to miss you all greatly. Last but certainly not the least, I would like to thank Tide, Talaba, and Philicori. I would like to thank our parents and family members. You certainly have raised some awesome kids. I hope that we all made you proud. We will also be sending you a wish list of things that you can buy us as soon as the ceremony is over. Class of 2021, where do I even start? We really are the class that entered university during the blockade in 2017, and we are now graduating during a global pandemic. Started from the bottom, now we're still at the bottom. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that Donald Trump was the president for the majority of our university experience. What was all of that even about? When Lemony Snicket wrote a series of unfortunate events, he was definitely talking about our time here at GUQ. Despite all of the odds, in a world that has been filled with so much negativity and uncertainty lately, we still managed to graduate. When we first entered Georgetown back in August 2017, I don't think any of us expected to have this journey. No offense to all of the other batches, but let's be honest here, we truly are the best batch, not being biased at all. How many other batches can collectively say they got a C plus in macroeconomics with Professor Mongolian? Don't worry guys, I got revenge on him during volleyball practices when he used to deliberately serve the ball to him with added interest. Emphasis on deliberately. <laughs> How many batches can say they won a bet against Samreen, in which she admitted defeat in front of the whole class and brought us brownies? We broke a bunch of doors by accident, I promise, indulged in a lot of free food, and I mean a lot. But shout out to all the events pre-pandemic, and even had beef with Texas A&M over an orange juice machine. Howdy Habibi will forever be iconic. I could go on and on, but really, where did the time go? I remember very vividly how enthusiastic and high-spirited we were during our NSO. It was during that week where I first realized that I was looking forward to spending the next four years with all of you. Now, at the end of our journey here at Georgetown, I can say with full confidence that we are all individuals who are able to who are able to accomplish anything that they set their minds to. I have been lucky enough to have interacted with most of you in some way, shape or form throughout the past four years of Georgetown. I know that the future is very bright for us all and I am excited to see what is in store for us and what impact we will bring to our world. In fact, so many of us have already accomplished so much throughout these past four years alone from creating and leading clubs and organizations to organizing events 
to being the president of the Students' Government Association, not one, but two, to achieving countless academic successes and to landing some impressive internships. I guess all of those all-nighters were worth it. And this is only a tiny fragment of what some of us have accomplished in university, let alone what we all have managed to achieve in our personal lives. It is really easy in the moment to not give ourselves credit, especially since we are a batch filled with such ambitious individuals, to say the least. So I would like to just take a moment for us all to give ourselves a big pat on the back for all that we have managed to accomplish. Never in my life have I felt so welcomed by a community, and I would like to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for making my university experience something that I will treasure for the rest of my lifetime. It has been an absolute privilege to have met you all. Whether it has been through interactions in classrooms or just random conversations in the atrium, in your own ways, you have all brought in my perspectives on things. And now I can proudly say that I am no longer that naive boy that entered Georgetown four years ago. At least I hope. I am sure as you reflect back on your university experience, a lot of things changed and probably did not happen the way you expected them to. But don't worry, all of it has shaped you into the person that you are today. And I think you are all great people. <laughs> and as we now embark on the next chapter of our lives, there are going to be even more changes, but we're gonna be all right. Each and every one of us are capable of doing great things. So let's make sure we use all of our experiences, knowledge and determination into making a difference in our world. Class of 2021, congratulations and we made it. Go at your new student convocation, the sign of your matriculation as students in Georgetown University was the academic gown given to you to wear that afternoon. As a sign of the next phase of your life as a Georgetown Hoya, you have received or will soon be sent a class pin. With this pin, you are formally inducted into the Alumni Association with a lifelong connection to a network of more than 190,000 Georgetown alumni around the world. Let this pin serve as a reminder to you that you are sons and daughters of Georgetown and always welcome on campus, both in Doha and in Washington, DC. The Tropaya exercises of Georgetown University School of Foreign Service in Qatar are now concluded. Thank you all for joining us tonight and congratulations once again. See you on Saturday.